on a primitive piece of space rock more than 100 million miles, 160 million kilometers, from Earth. Two tiny robotic explorers took their first cautious hops this weekend, the first movements made by any human-made spacecraft across the surface of an asteroid. The twin rovers were deposited Friday atop the half-mile-wide asteroid Ryugu by their parent spacecraft, the Japanese space agency's Hayabusa 2. The next day, JAXA shared an impressionistic image of the landing site, the craggy dark stone of a carbon-rich Ryugu lit by a brilliant beam of light from the sun. The rovers dubbed Rover 1A and Rover 1B, are each roughly the size and shape of a cookie tin. Solar-powered internal rotors loft them in the asteroid's low gravity, allowing them to propel themselves across its surface to snap photographs and take temperature data. I cannot find words to express how happy I am, project manager Yuichi Tsuda said in a statement after the rover's safe arrival was confirmed. In the coming months, the Minerva II rovers will be joined by two more landers. Hayabusa 2 will also smash the asteroid with explosives to blast away part of its surface, exposing underground material that the spacecraft will collect and eventually send back to Earth. If all goes to plan, it will be the first mission to return a sample from a C-type asteroid, which are often compared to time capsules from the earliest days of the solar system. More than four billion years ago, Ryugu was named for a magical palace at the bottom of the sea where a fisherman is given a mysterious box in a popular Japanese folk tale. The Hayabusa 2 will also bring back a capsule with samples, JAXA explained in a news release announcing the asteroid's name, thus the theme of bringing back a treasure is common. The space agency also noted that Ryugu was thought to contain water making it an appropriate namesake of an underwater palace. Hayabusa 2 will stay at Ryugu until late 2019, when it will depart with its collected samples and set course for Earth. JAXA hopes to receive the samples the following year. In labs on Earth, scientists will assess the asteroid fragments to understand the processes that allowed planets to form from the swirl of gas and dust that surrounded the primitive Sun. They will compare the rocks to meteorites and to samples collected by other missions, including NASA's OSIRIS-REx, which is slated to arrive at the asteroid Bennu in 2020. By studying asteroids, we learn more about the early solar system and more about life itself, the science guy and Planetary Society CEO Bill Nye tweeted as the rovers made their descent Friday. It is amazing to be a human living at this moment in the history of space exploration. Sarah Kaplan pressed a Giacomo for help with this report. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthesmall.com. Once again that is www.atthesmall.com. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall. We want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice that helps to hold governments, companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar. You can support us, and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the truth or guidance or need a prayer request or studies, please visit followyeshva.com at www.follow. Y. E. S. H. U. A. Now.com. Please note that we have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below. Please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.